Hey guys, I hope you have a great week. Today I want to share with you a quick hack that I found uh, recently, like this week, because I need to go to the NFT New York website and check all the list of speakers. It would take me like a week to do it manually, so I tried to figure out how I can uh, find the better way to uh, to do this. So um, I tried uh, ChatGPT, it didn't work. But then I just found the plugin that I should use and it immediately helped me to solve the problem. So uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. This is an NFT New York website and I need speakers uh, for 2023. As you see in the website, they have a different like categories for each speaker type. Uh, and there's a long list of them for each category. So to go over these lists, it would take me like at least two days, I don't know, just a waste of time uh, for this mechanical work. And I found a great plugin that I can use in Chrome, it's called the Web Scrapper. Now I can go to Web Scrapper, just install it. I already installed it, so I don't need to do it again. I will show you how it works in a minute, but let's think, like, let's talk on how does this, uh, a plugin works. Let's pretend this is your website you want to get the data from. Right on the website, we have the main directory, root directory, which is like the uh, global link, the homepage link on the website. Then we have uh, nested links, nested pages in it. So I just simplified in the page here, but we have a nested links. After the nested links, we need to create a table wrapper. Table wrapper or has the type of element that we're gonna work with because it's gonna show what is going to your particular table. Once you created the tail wrapper, we have a bunch of elements. In my case, I just need like a names and the companies, but it can be different type of texts within the pages you need to get. It could be name, for example, or like last name, then let's see, phone, and I don't know, address, right? So basically what, what's going to happen is you will uh, have the Excel sheet with all this data uh, in one table in one row. If we would not have this table wrapper element, your data would look messy and you will still need to work with the data within your Excel sheet. Uh, so let's go back to the NFT New York website where we have speakers. I should be in a main directory, as I said, for me, it's a speakers page uh, because I don't need all the data from NFT New York. I just need speakers. So it's a speakers page and it's going to be our parent. Then we're going to have a nested links for each of the uh, page of uh, featured art, brands, community and others. And for each category, we should uh, take the name of the people and uh, the company they're working at. So let's go to inspect. In inspect, you just need to go to your plugin that you just installed, the web scrapper. And what you should do, you need to create a new sitemap. A new sitemap will start with the higher level link, which is the speakers in my case. And let's call it NFT New York 2023. Uh, I'm going to create a sitemap. Now we have a root directory, which is our uh, speakers page. We need to create a nested, um, nested selector, which couldn't be our categories, right? We have all of the eight categories we need to select. So the, uh, the web scrapper will go on each page and will read the data from each page. So we're going to call it, in my case, categories. Uh, the type of the categories are links because all of these uh, pages are links to particular uh, page, right? You're going to see speakers slash featured, speakers slash art, etc., etc. So we want you to go to every link. We need to select elements for system to go through. 
first to the feature then you can just click on the same element and system will out, uh, and it will automatically understand that it should go through all of this uh, pages links and read the data from there so then we should uh, say done uh, you can preview data now you see only features so why it's a problem right we want to have all of them separately so what you should click you should click multiple and now you will see all your categories in the different uh, in the different rows, the different tables. So this data are going to be collected separately. Then we are saving this selector. We are going inside the category, and for each page, we will need to select what we will need the wrapper. We will need the wrapper. You see, I just almost done a mistake. Uh, I wanted to go through the text of names and the companies, but still too early. We need to create the table. We need a wrapper. And I'm going to the, let's call it data wrapper. And it should be element, as I mentioned before. Element, oh, we need all of the element that I'm going to select. So we're going to leave it multiple. Now we will select the element. The element basically is the component that contains all your all the nested like children's the data that we need uh, within that component. So I don't need image, I don't need this vote uh, button, but I need the name and the company name. So I'm selecting multiple. Now it's now we need to select everyone, uh, everything on a page. Going duck selecting, you can see the element preview and I can see that 71 elements were selected. So we know everything that from the page were selected. For the data preview, it will not give you anything because we haven't added anything to our table wrapper component. Now let's save selector. Okay, we are going into data wrapper and we add our data the actual content that we want to have in the table first i said i need names it's going to be a text type i need to select the name awesome done i don't need to click multiple because we are selecting for one component only so we're done we need to create another one the company selector text select the company name perfect no multiple just for one component so you will see data in the one row very organized and clean boom we're done right we can preview data if we want to all the names here all the companies here perfect then what we need to do now we need to scrap let's go and scrap the data start scrapping and now you see what's going on it just checking, screening each page and finding the particular properties I asked the system to find and uh, you will see what we're gonna end up with. Pretty cool, it saved me so much time. Just let's wait. Awesome, once you refresh it, you're gonna see all data. Here we go and we're done. You see, you have the category, you have a name, you have a company. I'm going from legal, well, gaming, it's so long list. I'm curious how many people are there. Uh, let's figure out. Eh, wrong one, sorry. Let's go. I need to export. And there are two options. You can export to CSV or XLS. Let's see what's gonna, what we're gonna have. Boom, here we go. Company names, we don't need the categories we do. Uh, no, not this category. Okay, I'm gonna delete everything that I'm not using. And here we go. We have a clean list. How many items here? Let me check. Oh, wow, it's about 3,000. That's crazy. Awesome. Now you have a list. Five minutes, I would say 10 minutes for you to figure out how it works. And you're good to go. That's it. That's the hack I wanted to share with you today. And and please let me know in the comment below if you're going to use it and how and which projects. I uh, would love to know that. And hit the subscribe button and I see you in the next video. Cheers.